Hi guys, I'm Julian and welcome to Lone Wolf's Den. Today we're going to be doing a Mega Man comic and figurine review. Now as you guys already know, that the comic book series was released back in 2011, published by Archie Comics. I know, Archie Comics. Who knew? Anyways, now if you haven't picked up the series, you guys can get the paperback comics at your local comic book stores. I really highly advise to pick up this series because it kept true to the art style from the cartoon series back in the 90s and to the game's art style as well. Now, on a side note, the comic book series is going to be releasing a collaboration with the Sonic comic book series that's released by Archie Comics and the Mega Man series where basically their worlds literally collide. That's right, Eggman and Dr. Wily are going to be working together to fight Sonic and Mega Man. And I'm looking really forward to this series. And as you guys probably know, this year is Mega Man's 25th anniversary. And as you know, I just got a figurine, the 25th anniversary figurine of Mega Man, and let's take a look at it. Hi guys, and we're back, and this is my uh, 25th anniversary Mega Man figurine. As you can see, there's the uh, 25th anniversary symbol. Uh, it's done by D-Arts and Bandai, of course. There's the uh, Mega Man figurine rush over here. And the little robot here that's called Meta Metal uh, FX. It's spelled M-E-T-A-L-L-F-X. I actually looked that up and uh, it was an interesting thing I looked up for his name. I didn't even know it for a long time. And uh, as you can see, there's the, uh, the art on the box, very true to the figurine, as well as the uh, comic book series, and the uh, video game series, of course, and the cartoon series that was released, too. And there was also a manga, if I believe, if I'm correct. Anyways, uh, this is about all the English you're really going to see is on the front of the box, because on the back, it's all in Japanese, or Chinese, or whatever it is. And but still amazing art on the back, regardless. Shows all the different positions that uh, the figurine can be placed in, and the one that little robot can be placed in, uh, which isn't that much. But still, nice art on the side, and again on the other side of the box. So let's open her up. An interesting thing about uh, this figurine, I actually measured it out earlier today, and it's measures up to about four and a half inches tall so here's Mega Man really nice paint job like right down to they got all the details down right down to the wire and the cool thing about uh, Mega Man is his buster can be replaced his other hand if I believe can be replaced and his face can be replaced uh, I actually loosened his face plate earlier so as you can see like you can take off the helmet remove his face Oops. and then you can give him a whole new expression which is cool which I think is pretty cool and let's see there we go voila I'm not gonna push it down because I'm not sure which one I want to put on him yet so that's Mega Man here's Rush very nice detail on them. Don't care for the coral pink, but that is part of his design, if I believe. But it's all... Both figurines are very easily posable, which is nice. It's like really nice detail. So they're going to be going on top of my uh, stand. And then there's the little robot. really really nice like a nice glossy paint to him same thing with Rush that was a matte paint for uh, Mega Man there and then there's the bullets or the plasma shoots out of his gun that you can put on and then you got all the different hands I'm not gonna remove them and then the other face plate oops so that's cool uh, I thought that was really cool. The figurine goes for about $69.99 uh, at some retail place. Uh, Comic Hunter, that's what it was. 
at uh, GameZilla. I think it was a little bit higher, so you can get them online. Oh, and one more thing, uh, the instructions are also in Chinese too, or Japanese in this case. So, so yeah, the uh, instructions are in Japanese or Chinese. So as you can see right there, but there are pictures to go by, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. And uh, the figurine is most likely going to be going behind me on my desk, and I just got to figure out a pose and where to actually put them. So guys, please subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw. I'm going to have a lot more to come, and if you have any comments, like always, place it down below, and I'll be more than happy to read them. And again, thank you for watching. Welcome back to Hangar Game! <laughs> okay, stop. On the... <laughs> On Hangar Toy... <laughs> that will... I mean... Hangar na... That's fresh. That was... And that will be bad guy. And, uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs>